dogs out, and uh, there's a family that's on their way from Vernon. Uh, they should be here just momentarily. We appreciate you being here this morning, and uh, we'll sell the two farms as we've got them listed. Uh, tract 1 will be that nice quarter out there east of Manitou, two miles on the baseline, and then we'll sell the 800-acre uh, grass ranch there, uh, four north and two and a half east of Manitou, or, or six south and two and a half east. <clears throat> if you have any questions at any time, please ask. And uh, we'll try to get anything and everything answered for you. Once again, we appreciate you being here. Last time we had some coffee, I asked Brad, I said, where's the coffee pot? And he said, well, we had two pots last time. Nobody drank any coffee, so we, we didn't think we needed some. Where did the, you bait, what, you boys, Jason, did you just get up? Yeah. Well, I'm glad Sean's with you. Yeah. yeah. Did you just fall out of the truck or get out of it? Uh, no. Good chores. 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 Good to see you guys. While we're uh, getting ready to start, I've got John on the phone with that gentleman. Uh, he's interested in the first farm that we're going to sell. Uh, I appreciate this opportunity working with Bank First on these two tracks. Uh, you're, you're fixing to get a chance, folks, that is a very unique situation, especially with track number two. Uh, it speaks for itself, actually. Uh, I was raised around that uh, uh, farm, uh, well, both of them actually. Uh, that quarter is the old Newmeyer place, Bill Newmeyer. I know a lot of you, you know, don't know who these people were, but uh, if you remember Dwayne and Annarine Cardwell, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, Annarine was raised across the road to the west. Matter of fact, Lewis Box sitting right back there, one of our younger citizens in the county. Uh, he owns that farm today. And that's where Anna Reen was raised. And, of course, uh, Bill and his wife uh, own this farm that we're fixing to sell. Very nice farm. Very nice farm. Track 2, I, I, it speaks for itself. I can't probably say enough. But any time, ladies and gentlemen, that you have this opportunity, as far as I know, uh, I'm 71 years old. It's never been for sale. Ever. Uh, I can tell you the chain of events, you know, no need of doing that of how it's been handed down. A lot of you locally knew Bill Stout, Leonard and Mary Stout. When uh, I was growing up as a child, Bill had this place. Well, he had it for 40, 45 years. And so Dad and Bill were good friends, and so Daddy uh, one time uh, asked him, he said, would you care if Terry and I went in there to go coyote hunting because we had all of those sheep. And anyway, he, Bill said, Jerome, you get in there and do what you want to do. And he said, I don't own that. He said, I lease it. And, he, and Daddy said, Bill, I thought you owned it. Well, anyway, um, you've got five quarters of grass. It's all under one fence. And so you can't find that in southwest Oklahoma, period. And you cattlemen in here, 
you men know that. So, uh, boys, bid on both tracks as long as you want to and quit when you get ready. But uh, you, you, you've got an opportunity here uh, that you won't regret the rest of your life. Uh, I'd like to take this time to introduce, uh, you need something, John? Brad Kent is president of Bank First here in Frederick. I appreciate him. Vance Knight, this uh, gentleman over here, is the attorney uh, that's going to be handling the closing of this sale. I'll read through the terms like we normally do. You have any questions, well, please, uh, please ask. We don't want you leaving here, especially you folks that are out of town. Maybe this is the first time that uh, you've been to one of our auctions. I will tell you this, uh, you're not wasting your time for being here. Uh, they're absolutely going to sell or I wouldn't be standing up here. We don't play games. Uh, when we have auctions, that's what we have. And secondly, we're not going to charge you a buyer's premium. When you give what is the bid today, when I say so, that's what you pay. We're not going to tack on no 5%, 2%, or 10%. I think it's wrong. But anyway, uh, yes, John. Uh, but anyway... Uh, before we get started, I always like to thank the Lord for the day and uh, thank Him for what He's blessed us with. Fellas, if you'll remove your hats, it won't take but just a second. Heavenly Father, we thank You, Lord, for this day. Father, we thank You for the pretty day. We thank You for the moisture that You sent us. And Father, we just have a beautiful wheat crop in the making. And we know it's all because of You, because before we got that rain, uh, we could see spots in our wheat, and it was telling us, uh, I need a drink. And so, Lord, you have provided that. The grass is coming out green. Father, we thank you for the price of cattle. I guess it, it kind of depends on, you know, if you're on the buying or selling side. But uh, we thank you for what the cattle are worth today. And, uh, Father, I just uh, want you to bless each family represented here in this building this morning. Uh, they love to farm and ranch, and that's why they're here. Whether they buy or not, they're interested in what land is bringing. And so we appreciate everybody taking their uh, time and their busy schedule to be here. Once again, uh, Father, we love you. Forgive us where we fail you. All these things we ask in your name. Amen. Okay. Let's get into the terms. Once again, if you have any questions... Uh, we're going to ask you to put 10% in escrow on each track today uh, with Mr. Nye. Vance works uh, there in Oklahoma City with Gunkel, Jackson, Box, and Deval. Lewis, is that in kin to you? Yeah, okay. Uh, balance due on or before June the 7th, and uh, we put Mr. Nye's phone number in there for your convenience. Uh, and we're doing something new today. Uh, and I think it's a great thing. Uh, we've got Christy Collins, and we're live on CCI.live. Colton Heap, a uh, local boy here in Frederick. Colton grew up here, and, of course, uh, he's working with CCI, and a uh, great organization. I've known Christy for many, many years. So uh, if there, there could be some action from Colt, so I will be taking bids on online also. Uh, at the same time, we're having the live auction. Uh, we're selling the real estate subject to any existing easements, which we normally do, which may be of record. Property is being and shall be conveyed by the seller to the buyer, as is with all faults in its current condition. FSA payments, any government FSA crop payments, if any, will be retained by sellers prior to closing. Buyer will receive any FSA government payment if any, after closing. Uh, risk of loss until the uh, transaction closes, the risk of loss of any or all of the property shall be on the seller, and the seller shall be entitled to receive any and all insurance or condemnation proceeds associated with any loss or taking of any or all of the property. Minerals, selling surface rights only, on all tracks, and if uh, I'm going to turn this over to Mr. Nye here in a few seconds, because I want him to address, uh, that's all that we need to say, we're, we're selling surface rights only. But these farms, uh, this ranch, the 800 acres, has been uh, 
signed up for the windmill project. So it's my understanding, and so I'm going to let him explain it, that if you as a buyer so choose to exercise that option, you can. If you don't want to exercise that option, you don't have to. But anyway, he's going to visit with you more about that. Uh, quite naturally, if a survey is required by the buyer or lender, the cost shall be paid for by the buyer. Uh, Vance, I'm going to call up uh, on you to share with these fine folks about the minerals and the windmill project. Uh, as Terry said, um, the minerals to the extent that there will be no minerals sold. If the minerals are owned by the bank, they'll be retained. If they've been previously reserved, obviously they've been previously reserved, but no minerals will be sold uh, with either tract. It's my understanding that both tracts uh, do have uh, windmill leases signed on them, um, and the tracts will be sold subject to those windmill leases, but the rights under those leases will pass to the buyer. So those rights will go to the buyer, but they will be subject, the ownership will be subject to the existing leases that are in place. Yes, sir. I'm not aware of what that lease specifies. My understanding is there is there there are likely uh, at least memorandums filed of record to evidence those leases. But those leases have been signed, so those, the title will be subject to whatever the rights of the lessee are under those leases. You will take title to the land subject to those rights. But whatever the benefits are of those leases too, you will obtain those benefits as well, um, because they won't be nothing in regard to those leases will be reserved by the bank but I can't tell you as to what the specifics are. Anybody else? Cows are time to ask, folks. Don't be bashful. They have, they have signed leases on the properties for windmill leases. The buyer gets that. Yes, that's correct. Uh, my understanding is that from Brad that yes, it is on the quarter too, both tracks. Any other questions? No, they're going to take title subject to those existing leases. And so, I mean, those leases are going to be there and whatever the rights are of the lessee, they're going to be there. And so they're gonna take title to that, And what, but whatever the benefits of those leases are, the buyer's gonna get those too. But they will pass, they will go. I'll turn it back to you. Okay, very good. Any other questions? You can stop, stop us at any time. Okay, if not, we're, we're going to get started with track number one, the southwest quarter of section 36, 1 north 17. It consists of 160 acres, located two miles east of Manitou on the baseline road, farm number 8130, 157 and two tenths acres of farmland, track numbers 3006. There's 113.9 acres of cropland classed as not highly erodible. It does not contain a wetland. There's two stock ponds. There's 40.7 acres of mixed native grass located up there kind of on the east side of that farm running up to the northeast corner. Uh, the 24 estimated ad valorem tax is $297. Effective DCP cropland is 113.92. It uh, wheat base is 105 and two tenths acres with a 31 bushel yield, seed cotton 6.98 acres with an 845 pound yield, unassigned generic uh, 1.74, making it a total base, uh, fully based 113.92. Okay, that's track number one. 
there is a uh, poll there for the Southwest Rural Electric out of Tipton. Uh, in other words, if you want electricity on it, there was a hot wire fence around it. We pulled it up. Uh, so if you're out there with a tractor or something, we didn't want you to get hung up in it. Uh, anyway, we have pulled the hot wire fence up, rolled it up. But there is a place there that you can put a meter. Okay, track number one. Anybody have any questions? Ladies and gentlemen, I've got a party in this crowd that's given me a starting bid on this good farm. We'll start uh, at his bid. Nobody raises it. Then I will point that person out. I've got a $200,000 start on that good farm. Somebody give two hundred and five. dollars Let's have a sale. Yes, I got it right there. Hit five, nab it at 10. It turned in five, nabbing him at daughter, nabbing him at ten, where? It ten, nabbing him at fifteen. It fifteen, nabbing him at twenty. It twenty, nabbing him at five, five, dare, nabbing him at twenty five. It twenty five, nabbing him at thirty. It thirty, nabbing him at five. It thirty five, nabbing him at forty. It forty, nabbing him at five. It tear, nabbing him at fifty. It fifty, nabbing him at five, dare, nabbing him at five. It five, nabbing him at sixty. It tear, nabbing him at daughter, nabbing him at sixty. It five, nabbing him at tear, nabbing him at sixty. It five, tear, nabbing him at daughter, nabbing him at sixty. I'm in front of you and in the back with the young lady. 255 nabbing them in there 60 now 5 it there nabbing them at 70 it there nabbing them in dollar nabbing them at 70 where nabbing them at 70 270 yes what you're in Ooh, you scared me to death 270 270 65 nabbing them in there nabbing them in dollar nabbing them at 70 270 yes 75 yes 80 it there, nabbing them at 80, where, nabbing them at 80. At 75, nabbing them at 80, where? At 75, nabbing them at there, nabbing them at dollar, nabbing them at 80. 80. 80. At 75, nabbing them at 80, nabbing them at dollar, nabbing them at 80,000. Yes. 85. Yes. 90. At 5, nabbing them at 90. Yes. 85, nabbing them at 90, there, nabbing them at 90. 90. Spencer, you've been good to me. I'll take 86. 286. Lord, I'm coming. 286. 286. Ladies in the lead. 286,000. 286,000. John, I forgot to announce. Very important thing. We got Toby Denny, Diane Beach, Monty Thornborough, all the farm credit. We got Mitch McClory at All American Bank at Schneider, Guy Smith at Cattleman's Bank at Altus, and Matt Clemmer Bank First. There's an ocean of money in here. And they're just jumping up and do what, Paul? Well, that, yeah, and they call it an interest in you. That, that's good, though. I'd want it back, too. Well, anyway, I appreciate these folks being here. Sorry that I hadn't already introduced you. Okay, last call 286,000. Nice farm, great location. 286. Here we go. 286. John, what's he say? Done. 286. I've sold that good farm in the back to buyer number 309 for 285,000. Congratulations. I know that girl. Okay. Let's move to track number two. This will be the 800-acre track. It's the east half of seven, the north half of eight, and the southwest quarter of eight. All in one north of 16, consisting of 800 acres, plus or minus. Four mile north of Manitou, two and a half east, on County Road 1690, or six south of Snyder, and two and a half east. Farm number is 8130, track number 167, Track does not contain a wetland. Uh, there's 786.9 acres uh, of farmland. In other words, total in the in the fence. There's only one fence. It surrounds the outside. There's no cross fences. The, the DCP crop data there is none because there are no base acres. Uh, there's six stock ponds. Uh, there is a uh, rural water tap available. Folks, this is a really important thing about this 800 acres. There's a main line that comes from Tom Steed Lake that comes uh, through the farm there on the west side of it that goes to Lake Frederick. 
and that's raw water. In other words, it hadn't got to Frederick to be treated. But you can put a meter on that line. I can show you where it goes. And there has been some uh, previous owners put previous uh, commercial, you know, with these big uh, carry-all tires. They've got uh, several water stations uh, that you can water your livestock with that raw water. So it, it a very good asset to any uh, farm, especially you're running cattle. Uh, you don't want to run out of water and start hauling water. We've all been there. So, uh, great, great asset to this farm. You got water. Uh, so, uh, the, uh, the ad valorem taxes for 24, $629. Uh, of course, you see what I've made a comment there about this track. Uh, very, very nice deal here. Uh, study a lesson uh, on this track right here. I didn't say anything about the closing. I will now. Uh, unless the parties agree in writing, otherwise the closing shall take place at Bank First here in town. It's up here at 200 North Main Street on or before June the 7th. Or you can get a hold of Mr. Nye at some point that's convenient for both of you and get together to close the sale, okay? Get possession at closing, so it's and not, there's no tenants. In other words, when you pay for it, it, it's yours. You can move cattle on it, or just like the first farm, you can farm it, do what you want to. Any other questions about this nice 800 acres of grass? Anybody have any questions? Well, we've got a starting bid, and the folks are standing here in this crowd of 850000 on this 800 acres. We'll start the bidding on that track right there, and we'll work from there. All right, somebody give 860. 850. Now 60. 850. Now I'm at 60. 850. Now I'm at 60. Now I'm at 60. Now I'm at 60. Now I'm at 60. 850. Now I'm at 60. Now I'm at 60. 850. Now I'm at 60. 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 Give me 55. 850 now, but I'm in five, sir, now, but I'm in dollar, now, but I'm in five. 850 now, but I'm in five, sir, now, but I'm in there, now, but I'm in five. 850 now, but I'm in there, now, but I'm in dollar, now, but I'm in five. 855. 855. 850 now, but I'm in five, sir, now, but I'm in dollar, now, but I'm in five, where? 850 now, one. We'll go the hard way. That's now, that starting bid is not the bank. 851,000. 851. 851. I've sold 2,400 acres right north of this track. Folks, you better study your lesson for $1,500 an acre. Cattle prices are high. And I understand, if you got to stock it, it's going to cost lots of money. But where can you go and buy 800 acres of grass that's that clean? I know it's grazed off. A, a lot of mine and yours is grazed off. There's no prickly pear covered up in mesquite. Great location. You're the judge and jury. Somebody give 851. Is that all that's here? 851? 851,000. You've got it online. 852. Yes, now three. Here two, now but I'm at three. Here two, now but I'm at daughter, now but I'm at three. You're all up. You're, you're out online. 53. 52, now but I'm at there, now but I'm at daughter, now but I'm at three. 53. 852, now but I'm in there, now but I'm in dollar, now but I'm in three. 53, Colt. 53. Hit there, now but I'm in there, now but I'm in dollar, now but I'm in three. Where? 852, now but I'm in three. 53. 853. Tommy. 853,000. Yes. Yes, four. Yes, five. Hit four, now but I'm in five. Hit four, now but I'm in five. It turned out of them in dollar, now but I'm in five. It turned out of them in five, where now but I'm in four, now but I'm in five. It five, now but I'm in six. It five, there now but I'm in seven. It turned out of them in dollar, now but I'm in seven. Eight fifty seven. 
Eight hundred now, but I'm a dare now, but I'm a dollar now, but I'm at seven. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. I'm on the floor at fifty-seven. Eight hundred and fifty-six now, but I'm a dollar now, but I'm at seven. Eight fifty-seven. Eight fifty-seven. Dennis Vernon. Gary Jones. Yes. Got fifty-seven. Yes, eight. Yes, nine. At fifty-eight now, but I'm at nine. Eight fifty-eight now, but I'm at there now, but I'm at dollar now, but I'm at nine. Yes, nine now, but I'm at sixty. Yes, now, but I'm at five. Eight sixty now, but I'm at five. Eight hundred sixty now, but I'm at five, sir. Eight sixty five. Eight sixty one. Eight hundred sixty now, but I'm at one, sir. Now, but I'm at one. Eight sixty one. Eight sixty one. Eight hundred sixty now, but I'm at one, sir. Now, but I'm at dollar now, but I'm at one. Eight sixty one. Yes, two. Yes, three. It two now, but I'm at three. It two now, but I'm at dollar now, but I'm at three. At two, now, now, but I'm in dollar now, but I'm at three. Sixty-three. Sixty-three. I'm on the floor. At two, now, but I'm in dollar now, but I'm at three. Sixty-three. Sixty-three. Guy Smith, what are you doing? Give me sixty-three. That's the name of your bank, Cattleman's. Sixty-three. Eight sixty-three. Eight sixty-three. Eight hundred and sixty-three thousand. James Brockreed. Where are you going? Give me 863. Yes, yes four. Hit five. Hit there, now, but I'm at five. Hit there, now, but I'm at dollar, now, but I'm at five. Hit 64, now, but I'm at five. Hit 64, now, but I'm at dollar, now, but I'm at five. 865. 865. Hit there, now, but I'm at dollar, now, but I'm at five. Yes, five, now, but I'm at six. Hit six, now, but I'm at seven. Hit there, now, but I'm at dollar, now, but I'm at seven. Sir, now, but I'm at seven. Eight there now, but I'm at four now, but I'm at seven. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Eight there now, but I'm at seven, sir. Now, but I'm at dollar now, but I'm at seven. I'm on the floor. Eight hundred and sixty-six now, but I'm at there now, but I'm at seven. Seven. Sixty-seven. Sixty-seven. Eight hundred and sixty-seven thousand dollars. Eight hundred and sixty-seven. Eight sixty-seven. Taking a little time, but the... the I just keep repeating myself, but I need to. A whale of a, a, an opportunity right here. Yes. yes, got it. Eight, nine, nine. Eight, where now, but I'm at nine. That's heaven, eight, now, but I'm at nine, tear, now, but I'm at nine. Sixty-nine. That's heaven, now, but I'm at nine, tear, now, but I'm at daughter, now, but I'm at nine. Sixty-nine. Eight, sixty-nine. I'm on the floor. Eight, sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. 868 now, but I'm at nine, sir. Yes, nine. Now, 70. Yes, 70 now, but I'm at one. It's 70 now, but I'm at one. There now, but I'm at one. It's 70 now, but I'm at one. Eight, 870 now, but I'm at there now, but I'm at one. Where now, but I'm at one. Yes, one now, two. It two now, but I'm at three. It two now, but I'm at three. Where? It two now, but I'm at there now, but I'm at daughter now, but I'm at three. 73. It's 72 now, but I'm at here now, but I'm at three. 73. 73. 73. I'm on the floor. Seventy-three, eight hundred and seventy-two on the floor. I'm asking seventy-three, seventy-three. That's seventy-two now, but I'm in there now, but I'm at three. Eight seventy-three, eight hundred and seventy-three. Yes, four. Eight seventy-four. Yes, five. Eight seventy-five. Eight seventy-four now, but I'm in there now, but I'm at five. Eight seventy-five. Eight seventy-five. Eight hundred and seventy-five. Eight hundred and seventy-five thousand. I'm on the floor. I'm asking eight seventy-five on the net. Yes, yes five seventy-six. That's my boy. Eighty. Give eighty-five. 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 It's eighty down there now, but I'm in dollar now, but I'm at eighty-five. Eighty-five. Yes. It's five now, but I'm in ninety. At ninety. At ninety. Yes, ninety now, but I'm at five. Eight ninety now, but I'm at five. Eight ninety now, but I'm at five. Her now, but I'm in dollar now, but I'm at ninety-five. Ninety-five, eight ninety-five. Yes, ninety-five. Now, but I'm at nine. Yes, nine. Now, but I'm at five. At nine hundred. Now, but I'm at five. Where? Now, but I'm at five. Nine hundred and five. Nine hundred and five. At nine. Sir, now, but I'm at there. Now, but I'm at dollar. Now, but I'm at five. Where? Nine hundred and five. Nine hundred and five. Nine hundred and five. Brent. Nine hundred and five. Nine hundred and five thousand. I'm on the floor. Give nine hundred and five. Nine hundred and five. Greg. Nine oh five. 
905. Boys, you want a cattle deal? We're, we're selling one today. 905. CA. Judy. Yes. I got five. Ten. Fifteen. Fifteen. Ten here, never them and daughter, never them at fifteen. I'm on the floor at ten. Nine, ten, never them at fifteen. Nine, ten, never them at there, never them at fifteen. Fifteen. They need to be a little quicker, coat, kind of warm them up a little. You get fifteen? Yes, twenty. Yes, five. At twenty, now them at five. At twenty, now them at there, now them at five. Nine, twenty-five. Nine hundred and twenty, now them at there, now them at daughter, now them at twenty-five. Nine and a quarter. Nine and a quarter. I'm on the floor. Nine and a quarter. At nine hundred, now them at there, now them at quarter, there, now them at twenty-five. Nine twenty-five. All in. All done. Nine twenty-five. 9.25, last call, last call, I've sold it for $920,000 to the Bates Brothers, Jason, thank you, and Sean. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Bank First, we appreciate your attendance, uh, enjoy the pretty day, and looks like we're going to have a good harvest. Uh, I'd like to announce on uh, April the 27th, we're selling a nice acreage six miles north of Mountain Park for Spud Kirk and his family. And then on May the 4th, we're selling a real nice grass quarter. Uh, it'd be three miles south of Snyder and a mile and a half east. It belongs to Eric Jensen on May the 4th. There hadn't been cattle on that grass quarter in 10 years. It is belly deep. So anyway, April. Yeah, and the consignment sale down south of town for farm equipment is next Saturday. You bet. Thank you so much.